Hi friends, Mickey Mancus here and welcome to Out the Back Door. Today I'm going to be cleaning my revolver. Come along and join me. All right, um, I've got a Ruger Security 6. It's a 357 stainless steel revolver. Um, our joke is if it's a semi-automatic, we call it auto jammers. Otherwise we have revolvers, usually reliable. Anyway, um, the reason I need to clean it today, it isn't because that I've gone out shooting and it needs to be cleaned out that way, but it's because when I go out in the woods working, this is what I carry with me. And when I'm trashing through the woods and everything else and the brush, and if we come across, say, a fallen tree on the trail that we need to get through with the ATVs and everything, um, well, the chainsaw comes out. So you've got all that stuff flying around. A lot of times we're out in the uh, woods, especially during the springtime, we're looking for deer sheds, antlers, uh, sometimes moose sheds too. So my gun gets filthy dirty just because I'm trashing around in the woods and the brush and everything. So I took a look at it and it was like, I didn't clean it the time before. And now I looked at it now and it's like, oh, it's filthy. So I decided I needed to get this thing cleaned up. Um, one thing I do want to mention is even if you have your EDC, check and make sure that it's clean periodically because you don't know if you're getting any lint from clothing or anything like that in or if you are out in the woods someplace dusty or whatever and also if you have a blued um, instead of stainless steel gun one thing you need to do on a regular basis is wipe it down with a good cleaning cloth um, i've got one here that it's actually silicone and a gun reel cloth. And wipe down your gun to make sure that you're getting any oils because of the acids in our fingers and stuff like that off of your um, the metal. And also, if there's been any moisture on it, I did happen to catch in time when um, my AR-15, the barrel, um, it had gotten moisture on it. I thought I had wiped it down well enough. And the next time I went and checked it, there were tiny specks of rust forming on it because it's blued. So make sure that you are wiping your guns down all the time and checking them out. These are tools. You need to be taking good care of them. I did pick up a product at that time that I noticed the little rust specks on the barrel of my AR-15 uh, Flitz Polish. And that did a good job cleaning it up. But I caught it in time. Your firearms are your tools, take care of them. All right, so the one thing that I noticed, um, I am gonna be cleaning out the barrel and everything also, but I mean, can you see all the dirt, the grime, all just little specks of everything everywhere. And this is what I'm gonna be cleaning up right now. So, all right, let me get my tools out. All right, you don't have to have all fancy tools in order to clean it. I use a lot of cotton swabs. Um, I've got a set of metal tools, um, hook and pick set. I call them kind of like dental tools, but um, I found these at the hardware store in the tool department. That is for cleaning in really tight nooks and crannies. And, um, but I do have my copper brush and I've got my, my woolly cleaner here. Um, I've got cleaning patches that I'm going to be using running down the bore. I also bought some little baby toothbrushes and these work nice as far as kind of like scrubbing. Another thing I like to use, these are like little dental picks um, that have just a tiny little brush on there so I can get into areas and lightly scrub also. You don't wanna get really super aggressive, um, especially like using the picks and everything as far, you don't wanna scratch the metal on your guns. So anyway, I am not going to totally break this down. I'm just gonna give it kind of a quick clean over and get all the debris that's out of it right now. And so some of the products that I use I do like to use REM oil. Um, it comes in a spray also. I also have Bore Bright that um, I am gonna give a shot down the barrel 
Um, you can use this for shotguns, rifles, handguns, any of that type of thing. And that cleans well also. The ram oil will be cleaning, but the one thing I like about the Bore Bright is that it's going to take out any of that uh, copper, lead, um, anything like that, the deposit that may still be in the barrel and such. So I will be using that today also. So to start with, um, I am, I made sure, yes, I am unloaded. Make sure that your gun is unloaded. A safety rule all the time, you assume the gun is loaded at all times. I don't care if you know for a fact that it's empty. Assume that it's loaded so that you're pointing it in a safe direction. All right, while I'm cleaning, I am going to be looking down the bore. Um, I've got a bore light here that I used to check it out and I did know I looked earlier, it's dirty. So I'm gonna be cleaning that also. But um, I do know that my revolver is empty. Okay, now it's really tight spinning. It should spin a lot looser than this. So I've got a lot of grime in there. I'm sure there's a lot of dirt built up in here and behind here. So I need to do a little bit of scrubbing here. All right. First thing I'm going to do is, down the barrel, I am going to spray some of the, um, the Bore Bright. And I've got a gun cleaning mat here. I'm looking in my cylinder to see how dirty it is down in there. And I really don't need to be spraying the Bore Bright down there. I'll use the rim oil instead. But I'm just going to let that soak for a moment. I have got so many areas you don't need a whole lot of this. I've got so many areas though that are filthy. The REM oil also lubricates your gun. Now, I usually have a rag here. All right. And like I said, I'm going in with my handy dandy little toothbrush here. And I'm just gonna kind of give it a scrub. Okay, some of you guys out there are going, that's not the way to clean a gun. Well, guess what? This is the way I clean out my gun. All right, so I'm just giving it a scrub here and there. Everywhere that I see, there's debris, grime. All right, I know that um, behind the hammer is going to be filthy dirty also. Now, like I said, this isn't a major cleaning. This is just cleaning up after I was out in the woods and it got dirty. Um, I have a boar snake to put down the boar to clean it, which works super slick, but I have it for my 22. I don't have it for the 357. So I'm thinking maybe I should invest in one. All right, so I am going to be using um, the copper brush for the 357. Slide it all the way up. Pull it straight back out. Because I did notice um, when I looked at it earlier, there was, it looked like some lead deposit in there. All right. And the nice thing about this, um, I do have a, a toolkit, um, a large one that I had picked up from Cabela's a while ago. There's all sorts of toolkits out there get what you need but the one that i bought will take care of um, any type of a rifle shotgun handgun all right now i'm going to put a little bit of rim oil on my i call it my woolly right. and i'm going to run that up the barrel again if i had been shooting this gun a lot i'd be running the patches up here instead but I cleaned it recently um, after I had been shooting. It's just that when I've been carrying it out in the woods, see, because I mean, that came out fairly clean. What I'm going to do, turn my little light on here and I'm gonna put it at the beginning. I'm looking up. Yep. Nice clean rifling. There aren't any marks in there, fortunately, because I haven't been abusing my gun and cramming any metal items up there trying to clean it or whatever. So the barrel right now is good and clean. So I could continue running 
um, the cleaner and everything through my cylinders, but I'm just going to be using um, a cotton swab right now instead, you know, Q-tip. And I'm going to clean that out because I know that really got grimy, even though I, I carry a loaded gun when I'm out in the woods. But see how much gunk is on there already? And that's from lead also. I think it'll be just easier if I spray All right, down each one. And ugh, cotton swabs are cheap. All right. Okay, sorry about this. Um, my camera cut out for some reason and I didn't realize that it hadn't been running for quite a while. So um, I took a few pictures to finish up what I actually did as far as cleaning the gun. You can see where I pulled the hammer back. Um, I did clean down in there and everything. Uh, wasn't as dirty as I thought it was going to be fortunately, but we have that all taken care of. And then the next thing, um, the cylinder, um, as I commented before, did not want to turn um, as easily as it should have. Now this is a tight fitting cylinder in this gun, so it isn't just going to go spinning. It should turn a lot looser than what it is right now. So what I've done is the ejector rod for the shells i've pushed that back and forth by putting rem oil on both ends of it and i kept working it back and forth that way and then i also took the time to continually spin the cylinder around so that the rem oil would work its way in there and it did loosen up well and um, it's functioning properly and everything now so that's what happened there and um, just wanted to share the rest of it so you didn't think I just kind of dropped the ball when I was videotaping. All right, that's all there was to it as far as cleaning my gun. I want to thank you for joining me and if you did like this video, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up share and if you have any comments or questions please leave them below so until next time i hope you have a wonderful day god bless